I'm planning my wedding and I want you to join me. This is part five and today we are choosing our wedding party. But first I have to come clean. This is a fictitious wedding. I'm using my experience as a wedding planner, blogger and podcaster to walk you through the exact steps to take when you plan your wedding. Yes, it's part five and we haven't booked any suppliers yet because we've gotten organized, we know the colors, we have a rough wedding date and we know our priorities. Spoiler alert, we argued about those. Now let's choose our wedding party. For our actual wedding in 2015, we had nine bridesmaids and nine groomsmen. And let me tell you, we are not doing that this time. Since we got married, we have moved across the world, we have made some new friends, and we've also lost touch with some of the friends that were in the wedding party before. So really, this has just made us aware of how significant it is to choose people to stand up there with you on your wedding day. I did a poll on the Weddings Online Instagram stories recently, and so many of you newlyweds said something very similar, that you regret who you chose to be in your wedding party. So to avoid this, we're keeping it simple. For our fictitious wedding, we have decided that just our siblings and their partners, who are our siblings-in-law, will be in the wedding party. So that means two bridesmaids and two groomsmen for us. I've always wanted to propose to my bridesmaids using some kind of cool box with something personalized, something special inside of it. And you know what? When I had nine bridesmaids, it was gonna be hella pricey to do that. But this time I can do something really special. Stay tuned for part six where we're gonna create a budget and I'm gonna try and merge together my priorities and my partner's priorities, which do not agree with each other. 